Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you like videos like this, well please hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a foot pad. Now, if I had to select from all of my foot pads, the number one most important foot pad, it would be this pad. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. There's a couple things that you're going to have to have in your arsenal in order to do this. First off, you're gonna to have to have some adhesive felt. This is quarter inch adhesive felt. I'll leave a link below the video where you can get a roll for yourself. Um, that's where I get mine. You're also gonna to need to have a pair of good scissors. Now, any scissor will do, but I think that bandage scissors work the best. Bandage scissors allow you to get a more precise cut. You can get an inexpensive pair as well on Amazon, and I'll leave a link below the video for that as well. If you want to buy them on, you know, at the local retail store, that's fine as well. I, I, doesn't matter. So the kind of pad we're going to learn about today is a U-shaped pad. Now, a U-shaped pad has a lot of different advantages. Number one, it allows you to roll off about off of it without creating a lot of shear. And that's what makes it better than a oval or circular pad. You can use it to take pressure off of painful calluses, warts, or if you have bunions or Taylor's bunions or painful styloid process, we can modify this U-shaped pad to accommodate for those areas as well. So this is a pad that's really designed to help you ambulate comfortably until you can get to your doctor. You, may not be able, you might not be able to get to your doctor right now, um, or this is a pad that you can even make if you're kind of like on the run, if you're out hiking, um, you keep some of this in your backpack and you can fabricate things on the go and it can actually be a lifesaver. So let's get started. So for this demonstration, we need a working diagnosis. And so our diagnosis is going to be a painful callus below the third metatarsal head. Third metatarsal head is right there, but it's on the bottom. So it's going to be this spot right here. And so what we're going to want to do is create a pad that takes pressure off of this area. So we're going to take our felt roll and our scissors and we're going to cut a square and then out of that square we're going to cut a U which is going to look like this. All right now this U only has to be the width of that metatarsal head so when I hold this up against the metatarsal head right here there you go that's how this would fit. Now these this felt pad has an adhesive backing to it so you could peel this off and this will stick right to the bottom of the foot just like that. Now you'll notice that the way I've had this set up, the bottom of the U faces towards the heel, the arms face forward towards the toes. Okay, and it's, cri it's critical that you do it this way. If you do it like this, this will not work because you want to bear the weight on the bottom of the U and on the sides, and the weight is being distributed from the heel towards the toes. So what happens is when you get to this spot here, when you get to this spot here, you wanna roll over that callus, that bone there. You wanna roll over it, bearing all the weight here and on the arms. Now, I, what I did is I skived the arms here. So the ends of these, of the U, I've actually gone through and cut a little bit of that felt down to give it a little bit of a, it, it's kind of at a 45 degree angle to allow your foot to roll forward, but you never skive the inside of that U. You want a 90 degree angle, kind of like a cavity, a canyon for that callus to fit into when you bear weight. That's how you use this pad. Now, actually, um, even though it has a removable backing that's sticky, I don't like adhering it right to the skin. Well, first off, you're going to go through a ton of these pads. You have to make them every day. Number two is a lot of people might have some sort of allergy to the glue. It's probably not healthy to have this right up against your skin every single day anyhow. It, you're far better off just sticking it to the inside of your shoe. And there's two ways you can do it. One is to just remove the, the, the liner of your shoe and adhere it to the right to the appropriate place inside of the liner and then put it back in your shoe again. So now every time you put your foot into your shoe, your foot rests on that spot. You risk, however, pushing the pad off when you put your foot into the shoe and pushing it into the front, into the toe box. And you don't want to do that because you can create sores under your toes. So we don't, I like, the way I like doing this, take the liner of your shoe out, turn it upside down, and put this on the bottom of the liner, and then turn the liner right side up, put the liner back in the shoe, and now your foot goes on top of the liner, 
yet the third metatarsal head would still be sitting on the liner with that space under the liner. So all the pressure still is being distributed around the bone rather than right on that metatarsal head. So I like doing that better. Um, if you don't have a shoe that has a removable insole, you can just go to the drugstore and get yourself a Dr. Scholl's odor reader or something similar to that and use that as the insole and build this underneath that. Um, I hope that makes sense, but I think that works really, really well. Now, how do you use this for a, um, a bony prominence on the side of the foot? Let's say like the base of the fifth, or if you have a Taylor's bunion, or if you have a, a bunion, okay? How do, you, how do you use this? Well, you could put it on the side like this, except the problem is, as you can see, this is where the shoe would be. So that's not going to work, is it? So what you do is you cut one of those arms off. So there you go. I cut off the U and made an L. And now I can put this on the side here and voila, no pressure on the fifth metatarsal head. I can put it back here. No pressure on the fifth metatarsal base. If I want to take pressure off of my ankle, I can use my U-shape pad and I can put it here on the side like this. No pressure. So this is a very uh, utilitarian pad, a lot of different applications that, that you can use to take pressure off of many different areas of the foot. And I just thought I'd share it with you so you could become a little bit more proficient in using it yourself. So, all right, well, if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Dr. Dave, and I'll see you on my next video.